in the name of Lord Jesus Christ and truly God if you need transportation to our service we'll make transportation available to you in the name of the Lord thank you Jesus if you have it say amen, amen. now the subject today is going to be I've come too far to stop now look at somebody look at somebody said I've come too far, I've come too far to stop now started his journey walking with the Lord and we are moving at God's speed and his pace but we find many are giving up walking away after the flesh after destruction having taste this righteousness and decide to go back. Thank you, Jesus. But when I look over my life and do an evaluation and look back and see where the Lord has brought me from, I've come to the conclusion that I've traveled too far to go back now and go to hell. I don't want to go to hell. And the only thing behind me is death and destruction and eternal damnation. So I think I press on. Paul said I press towards the mark of the prize of high calling in Christ Jesus. And verse 18 begin to read. For I reckon that the sufferings of this present time are not worthy to be compared with the glory which shall be revealed in us. Paul wrote to the Roman church and to let the believers know he wanted to stir up their very conscience. He wanted them to think. And he said, I reckon that the suffering of this present time in other words, of what you're going through with now. Thank you, Jesus. You is not even worthy to be compared with the glory. Thank you, Jesus. For shall be revealed unto us. The little stuff that's going, that's happening now, don't you throw in the towel. It's not worth going back. For Jesus said, if you suffer with me, Lord have mercy. You are what? Reign with me. Suffering in this present world is just for a season. It's not forever. It's for a season. You're here today. And you're gone today. You're like a bubble on the water. Just a moment you're on this earth. And I want my moment to count. Thank you, Jesus. Because when Jesus cracked the sky and the righteous dead arise, I want to go back with him. Hallelujah. Somebody 
compose a song that I want to go back with him when he comes. He's coming on a cloud. Thank you, Jesus. The song says, every eye shall see him. No, when he comes for me, every eye is not going to see him. Every eye is not going to see him, but he's going to speak with the voice of an archangel with the trump of God, and I want to go back with him. Your suffering, your present suffering, your present going through, my God, it's just for a short time. Read Verse 19, for the earnest expectation of the creature waiting for the manifestation. We waiting. Wait, I say, on the Lord. Be of good courage. Wait. Thank you, Jesus. For in your patience, possess ye something. Your soul. And the Bible said, the soul that sinneth, it shall die. I don't want no death. Don't even bring that to me, but the soul that sinned, my God, the shall die. Thank you, Jesus. But righteousness exalts the nation, but sin is a reproach to the enemy people. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Let's go to verse 26. The Bible tells us that likewise, the Spirit also, heaven, our infirmities. Thank you, Jesus. For we know, church folks, not what to pray for as we are. We don't know what to pray for. He said, well, that's why God gave you the Holy Ghost. You got something on the inside that will intercede into glory for you. Uh, hallelujah. We may think you need to pray for one thing. Uh, but the Holy Ghost said, I'll pray for what you need. I'll pray according to the will of God. Uh, Thank you, Jesus. He'll pray. That's why it's always good huh, in your prayer time to pray in the Spirit. Huh. Let the Holy Ghost intercede for you. Huh. Thank you, Jesus, with groaning which cannot be uttered. Huh. Thank you, Jesus. He said that he that searches the heart. Huh. Hallelujah. He knows what's in the mind of the Spirit. Huh. I said this morning, people want to be healed. Huh. But a lot of people are sick in their spirit. Huh? Their soul is vexed. Huh? Thank you, Jesus. They got problems. Huh? On top of problems. Huh? They don't know which way to turn. To the right or to the left. Huh? Thank you, Jesus. That's why huh? you need to have the Holy Ghost. Huh? Thank you, Jesus. Huh? Hallelujah. We got the victory today. Huh? And that Holy Ghost, he searched my heart. Huh? And he always knows what's in the mind huh, of my spirit. Huh. He knows because he make intercession to God. Huh. Hallelujah. According to huh, the will of God. Huh. A lot of time I may pray out of his will. Huh. The Holy Ghost said, let me speak for you. Huh. Hallelujah. I know huh, what God's will is. Huh. A lot of people pray for cars and land. Huh. Hallelujah, and houses, huh, and money, and jobs, huh, and we need these things, huh, but that's not what we need to pray for, huh, for the Bible said, seek ye first huh, the kingdom of God and his righteousness, huh. he said, and this other stuff will be added, huh, and that's a problem with mankind, huh. man tend to seek everything, huh, but the face of God, huh. Everybody want to seek uh, the hand of God, uh, what they can get out of him. Uh, but how many people uh, is seeking the face of God, uh, his righteousness, uh, and his holiness? Uh, hallelujah. Uh, and when I think uh, of the goodness of Jesus uh, and all he done for me, uh, I find myself, uh, I can't go back, uh, I can't turn my back on him. Uh, Hallelujah. For he never failed me. He never failed me yet. He never turned his back on me. When I pray, hallelujah, I feel good in him. When I pray, he answer my prayer. When I'm in need, he come to my rescue. Hallelujah. When I'm sad, he make me happy. Hallelujah. When everybody